All right, here we go. We have New Kazoos on Vlad TV. And uh, definitely one of our more interesting guests that we've had over the years. And, you know, before we get into your whole story, you're essentially a Caucasian man who at one point started to inject himself with a chemical that put melanin in your skin that would make you dark when you started going out in the sun. Yes and no. It's not technically melanin. People always think it's melanin. But it's just a peptide that is basically steroids when it doesn't do anything unless I go into the sun. So the same thing as steroids helps people get muscle faster. The injections help me to get darker faster whenever I get into the sun. It's just tanning, you know, with ultra speed. Got it. Got it. And we'll get into that whole part of the story, but I kind of want to go into your background first. So where exactly did you grow up? Um, a couple, well, basically two different places. Uh, I, when I, I was born up in New York. I lived there till I was about 10 and then I uh, moved down south and small town areas in the middle of nowhere. Okay. And what nationality are your parents? Technically, I consider them human. Um, but I guess you could say other people would consider them Caucasian or or, okay. or some Italian, Sicilian. Okay. And you have a sister as well? Yes. Okay. So you're growing up sort of all over the place. Um, you went to the Art Institute for a year? Uh, I went I went there for a, a couple of years, I think. I went to multiple colleges. Okay, and you didn't graduate though? No, it uh, wasn't really my path in life that I wanted to take. I tried it out and um, it wasn't for me. Uh, okay, now we'll go ahead and show a, a picture of, of what you look like originally uh, with extremely, you know, pale skin and, and you know, a, a Caucasian man. And up until the point where you started injecting yourself, were you into black culture, had a lot of black friends, into hip hop, or what was the attraction initially? Yeah, I mean, I've always been around black people my whole entire life. Um, my first friends, like ever, you know, when I, my parents first sent me to daycare, you know, you know, there, uh, there's a black guy there, he became my best friend, you know, and, and my parents were friends with their friends or his friends, you know, and it's just like, it seems like I bounced around different schools and it's like every school that I went to, I always gravitated to the black people for some reason. And um, it's just, I just connected more with, I don't know. And then, then I moved down to the South and then I, I thought everybody was human. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really realize that there was a difference between white and black, but only through hindsight did I realize that I gravitated to black people. But when I moved to the South, I learned from, you know, the people around me that, hey, you're not human. You're either white or you black. So that kind of started the whole thing. And then I, I don't know. We'll get into that later. Um, uh, but to answer your question, um, I've always felt a little different and I always felt like I wanted I wanted to have darker skin. My whole family has darker skin than me. And my, my sister used to tease me and um, say I wasn't part of the family, say I was adopted because I was so light skinned. And um, I, I just wanted to be like all my friends and stuff like that. So in middle school, I started thinking about doing plastic surgery to become, you know, see if I could do the opposite of Michael Jackson. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, and uh, as I progressed into adulthood, I started trying to find other ways to darken my skin, but it never seemed to happen. But then I found out about the tanning injections and I wanted to try it and I tried it and I like it, and I finally have dark skin, which I've always wanted. 